Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we're playing more of the Mirror Mirror event on MTG Arena. Uh, this is a historic event where they've errated certain banned cards, um, and pretty much the meta thus far has been a lot of ramp decks, Omnath decks, Genesis Ultimatum, let's put a lot of lands into play, let's be greedy, fires of invention, stuff like that. Um, so I thought what we'd try out is a blue-white kind of hate bears style deck. Um, we're going to be playing Teferi the Time Raveler. Uh, this card has been errated to be four mana instead of three, um, but it's still a good tempo play. We could kind of lock them out of certain spells. Uh, and what we have is kind of just a bunch of hate bear and like hating effects. So we have Dranith Magistrate that shuts off Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, if we exile the card with Elite Spile, Spellbinder, it's kind of a lock there that they can't cast the card. Um, anything off the top of their library, anything like that. So we get them that way there. Uh, we have Confounding Conundrum. If they put two lands, two or more lands into play, they have to return uh, land to their hand each time. Uh, so anything beyond the first, it also just cycles for us. Uh, so we have that with Field of Ruin that we can force them to pick up lands on their turn. Um, then we have Arcan of Emeria that puts their lands into play tapped. A lot of these are greedy mana bases. It also limits the amount of spells they can play each turn. Uh, we have Redain. Uh, that taxes their expensive spells. Skyclave Apparition can hit like Omnath, Lotus Cobra, um, pretty much everything except like Fires of Invention now. Uh, Deputy of Invention can clean up uh, tokens from like Field of the Dead, stuff like that. Teferi stops instance on their on our turn. Uh, can also uh, just like tempo them and bounce. And then Teferi is just a way for us to refill our hand. Um, so let's try this out. Um, a card that's really good in this particular meta, like with what I've been playing against, is like um, Mystical Dispute. I just I don't want to play counter spells. I want to just play the board type thing, be more tapped out. Um, but let's try this out. We have Naya Winota already up, as well as Teamer um, taking turns with Fires of Invention. Uh, that were both really sweet. Uh, let's see how this one goes, and then we'll probably move on to some Grixis Fires. Uh, let's cheat out some Nico Boluses. Uh, this hand's pretty slow. Okay, we'll keep this hand. Let's put back Big Tef. Probably. Llanowar. The opponent just like queue up Gruel. Dryneth also shuts off Uro, which is kind of nice. Uro's been a rat ad, so it doesn't put lands into play. So it only gains you three life and draws a card on a 6-6 six, six body. Um... We're gonna arc in here. So this is worse if they have Omnath. But they have to play a land before to even make the mana. Is that just Asian a treachery? So they got us this way. Bit of a problem here. So it's just like Simic Ramp. Okay, Conundrum's good. But I think we need to go after their hand here. Get Crisis. Tad annoying because we're not going to be able to... Guess we try to draw to fairy. We took a chance. Had we pulled the Nisa, we would have been happier. Like hit it for the turn, but they had close to enough mana. Can't really afford to attack in now. 
So we have deputies and we have teferis as well as skyclave operations. So all are nice options at this point. So I play their I one spell for the turn. And I will survive you. They could just go the trample route. <laughs> Stomping time. I think that's fine this turn. Um Like I gotta take Nisa off the battlefield, right? And then just do this because it's more toughness. You can like double block on something they give trample and then fight down the Vivian. So it's kind of like the his the pioneer mono green devotion list. I do need to block here. Oh, I'm just dead anyways. All right. Well, we weren't prepared for Nisa. We took a gamble. I thought they were an on Omnath pile. We attack Vivian there, we're not in that much better of a spot, I don't think. This turn's fine. Um, so depending what they show, we'll either set up Luminarch. So this is definitely a Luminarch situation. Get this going. This could be like Aristocrat style. Um, what do we value more? So I think we do this. I want to see what they have going. Myers Grasp, Clarion, Myers Grasp. So it's definitely just get rid of one of these. Um, I'm going to do this because it forces them to Myers Grasp either the Luminarch this turn and then my Spellbinder can trade. I think that's an easy block. Can get rid of savior if they draw land they just do this anyways i think we're doing this can just tax probably just tax this I will do this with a Shalai, because if they play a land, ooh, Snarl. Snarl's not that good. Um, no blocks here. Let's not give them extra spells. Mmm, just not hitting lands has been really awkward for us. I think we still do this. They can Myers grasp one of them, but I think we can still kind of tempo them out. With Teferi, I can bounce the token. Because 
because now is Shalai, they're going to be interested in putting counters on it. This card, I think, post rotation can be pretty decent in like an aggressive shell. That's good. The following turn. Let's cash this in. Savior. That's an interesting decision. You'd think you'd want to just pay the four mana here. Keeping this back. Again, a bit odd of a decision, but it's a decision for them to make. Now we can just kind of lock them out. Don't think they've used Shalai before. They should have done it on their turn. So I can go... Arkin, I can hold up Conundrum. I think we're just going Arkin again. And then just kind of locking him out that way. That turns off the Clarion Spirit. So this wasn't a match that we needed the, the Conundrum. We could have done it, but they were pretty much out of lines at that point. And like bouncing everything in their deck was like two mana, two, three mana. I think the hate bear element was pretty good there. We could have got to fairy as well to start um, tempoing them out, bouncing their flyers. Um, opponents on Winota. I think we need to mulligan here. This hand's much better. Uh, I mean, let's. Play the card that reads. Winota doesn't work. I kept a fairy here because it's a good tempo play. We have Skyclave as well. This can. Um, Attack in the air. I think we're okay this turn to just cast out Regain. I want to start being able to like tempo them with pressure. Next turn, I could go tap line, Skyclave Apparition. We'll take three here. So they've gone a little bit more aggressive with their s so We'll do this. Play this out. And then next turn I'll Teferi bounce the Vanguard. Just tempo them another turn. I think we're just taking three here, to be honest. Okay, so they hit the land. Can go Arkin as well. That's interesting, because they can only play one spell per turn. I think I like that. Tempos them out with lands as well. We can take one more hit with this Vanguard, and then I'll just bounce it. 
This also is better if they have like a five drop, like Kenrith or something. War boss. Don't care too much about that. Do this. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. Just hit him in this the air here. If they want to attack with war boss, I'll take the trade. And then even I can block with this aggressively because if they have stomp and they want to kill this, I have a backup one. Mine comes into play tapped. Spellbinder as well. Let's try this. So we can attack in here. And then I can just set up. Like we could let Teferi die. I don't really care about this point. If they're targeting Teferi, we're gonna just win through tempo. Blade Historian, Kenrith gives Trample, Blade Historian gives Double Strike. Um, I think I care more about the Double Strike. So if they get a land, Kenrith gets Haste and Trample, that's five. I have enough to block. You know, the double strike is actually not as scary. Kenrith. It's fine. So we just need to block like this, that's 4, 8, 12, so I do need to block. Here, and we just kill him in the air. Got him. Alright. The tax man. This is kind of cool where you can play this like Teferi does a nice job of kind of validating. I want to try to use the the field of ruin and the enchantment to start like hitting their lions. But we did a really good job there shutting off Winota. They would have had a pretty explosive hit. Um, in the dark, I think this is fine. We have a couple Lancers as well as just an aggressive start if need be with Teferi backup. This might be Tybalt's trickery. Which, I mean, if we could get to Arkin, they can't cast the spells. So if we can go one more turn, no Arkin. Nope. If we were on the play, we would have stuck them. It's like, I don't understand. You could play any card and you're like, you know what? Tybalt's trickery. That, that is what I want to play. Okay, well, there's no point in playing this game. We'll just go to another one.
But, like, you could do that on the ladder, too. Like, what are you gaining from playing that? You're not trying out new cards. You're not trying out new strategies. You're just... Flip a coin, see what we get. We'll keep this. Um, I'm going to put in the dark, I'll put back Deputy of Detention. I think this is another streamer or like content creator. The name seems familiar. Okay, they're on Winota. So I'll probably Skyclave their next play. I could Field of Ruin them and set them back a land, but I think it's better for us to see what's going on. Okay, they got double Winota. I mean, we could take them off the Elf. If they go this, they don't have enough for Stomp and that, so they can just play out Bone Crusher. So I can Skyclave Apparition the Llanowar Elf. that actually do for me? I think we're just getting this going. If it wasn't for the tax, we'd have a pretty nice turn. Ah, we were hoping they didn't hit the land. But they hit, miss, miss. Well, I mean, if we can draw triple This lets us block better. Five mana? Oh, because they can't pay for that. Let's just smack in here. We got a lot more Winota this set. So I think this turn. If we do this. Smack him in, try to beat him on tempo. Because I have Skyclave next turn, so they have to tap or play a land. This is actually an interesting turn. I can get rid of War Boss. Yeah, I think we do that. No, because then I'm kind of like awkward with my. Actually. I think what we do, make it so they have to draw land. And we'll do this. Um, I think we just set up with like threes around. Did they hit the land? No. Nope. Okay, that 
that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And if they have a line come into play tapped, then I could tempo them. I can do this on their end step. This game's been really good. They actually have to pick up two lands. So we'll do it in combat. Come on, Lou. Come on. Did you disconnect? I want to do the thing. In the end, it proved right to take the line of War Elf. Might have disconnected. Come on, opponent. Reconnect. I want to finish this match. I don't know what will happen because they have to declare attackers here. If it'll auto do or just concede their turn, or like concede the game. So basically, what we're going to be doing here, uh, because I had a land come into play tapped, we're able to field of ruin, another land to come into play for the turn. If it does, they have to return two lands. If it doesn't, then it's just strip mine, and then they're down another land. And actually, what we do is we take out the red source. That's unfortunate. Well, this deck ended up being pretty sweet in the end. If you want to go more of a hate bear kind of tempo style strategy, kind of white weenie esque with a little bit of a blue splash, uh, definitely something to check out. Uh, if you do have any cool deck lists, drop them in the comments, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.